Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this koala bear hat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This was um, a petition from one of my subscribers from YouTube and I sent her a message saying that I will try to do my best to make one and I love the way the hat look. It was really easy to make. I have a little trouble making the ears but I finally did it and I decided to post it in English because the petition was in Spanish and I hope you guys like this video please send me some feedback if you try and you like the end result and here is the video on how to make this beautiful hat for the hat I'm going to use a Bernat Baby Coordinate is light 3 and the color is soft gray this one is the only one that I can find um, in my store when I buy my yarn and it's uh, gray with a lighter gray color, almost white, shiny and I decided this will be good because the koala fur is um, gray with lighter, almost white tips in the tip of the hair and I think this will do pretty well for the hat I have this strand boa with glitter it's the only way that I could find it and it's like this like eyelashes I think they call it too um, the color is gray and will do they will look very well with this one and this one is for the ears uh, you will need black yarn for the eyes and the nose for the eyes of my hat I'm going to use these ones that I have here that they are with this in the back like that I don't know where you can find this. I found these ones uh, in a second hand store, a small second hand store near my house. That they, I go to the part, the department that they sell craft and yarn and stuff. I found there, 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 you know, needles and looms, and I found this packet of eyes. When you go to those stores, you never know what treasure you will find in those departments. And sometimes stuff that they don't sell in the craft store you'll find in there and these are the ones for the back of the eyes look how many for 50 cents each packet um, you're gonna need crochet the crochet hook that have four millimeters and tapestry needle and scissor for cut okay let's start our hat to start our hat we're gonna do a slip knot and we're gonna chain four one two three and four now we're gonna do eleven double crochet in the first chain that we did the one that is after the slip knot or the first chain from the hook in that space there we're gonna make eleven double crochet remember we don't gonna count those chain three with those chain three will be twelve but we have to make 11 in the same space I will meet you here at the end when I finish my, my 11 double crochet in the chain space I'm going to finish this row with a slip stitch chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 like that we're going to finish row number 1 and we're going to make another double crochet in the same chain space and now we're going to put two double crochet in every single chain space. This row will have 24 double crochet. We're going to finish here with a slip stitch this row. Here I finished row number two with 24 double crochet. I did a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to make a double crochet in that same chain space. Now is another double crochet in the next chain space and two double crochet in the next chain space like that we're gonna do row number three two double crochet in the same chain space one double crochet in the next and two in the next and one in the next like that we're gonna finish this row with 36 double crochet and we're gonna make a slip stitch in the top of that chain here I finished row number three now I'm gonna make three chain one two and three to start row number four we're going to make another double crochet in the same chain space 
Now we have to make one double crochet in the next chain space and one double crochet in the next chain space. Now it's two double crochet but separate in between every the, the two double crochet. Now it's two together. Like that we're gonna make row number four. Two together, two separate, two together, two separate, two together. We're gonna finish this row with 48 double crochet and we're gonna finish it with a slip stitch. Now I finished row number 4 with my 48 double crochet. I'm going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. And you're going to make another double crochet in that same chain space. Now I'm going to crochet, uh, crochet uh, 3, double crochet in the next 3 chain space. 1, 2, and 3. And now 2 double crochet in the next chain space together. One and two together. Like that, we're gonna do row number five that we're gonna finish with 60 double crochet and we're gonna finish it with a slip stitch. Here I finished row number five with my 60 double crochet. Um, I'm gonna finish my increases here. If you want the hat uh, a little bigger or, or bigger, you continue with uh, more row um, of increases. But I wanted to do a small hat and I will finish here. Remember you are working with a 4 millimeters crochet hook and each time you do a row increase a lot. You have to be measuring at the same time that you are working with the crown of the hat uh, measure to the, your, uh, the child you are making um, the hat. Okay. Now row number 6 for me will be one double crochet on top of each double crochet. In total, no, row number six is going to be the 60 double crochet that we did in row number five. I will meet you here at the end of this row. Here I finish row number six with my 60 double crochet. Now I'm going to continue off camera, um, I continue with my crochet, and I will let you know how many more rows you have to do in order to finish your hat. Here I finish the size that I want to give to the hat. Those were 10 rows of double crochet. Here is uh, the ears are still out, but I'm going to do some ear flaps. And then after I do the ear flap in both sides, I'm going to uh, crochet with this yarn and the um, boa yarn that I'm going to use for the ears all the way around the trim of the hat. Uh, this is my model from 0 to 3 months. That's why my hats most of the time are from 0 to 3 months. Um, but if you have given another row of increase after row number 5, and then you will have a little bigger hat. I only can make those size or for a 12 years old. Those, those are the models that I have. Well, uh, I will continue now with the ear flap for the ears of the hat. Here I finish the hat and that part I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn and pull through tight. That way I get a knot there and then I will lose that tail. Now we're going to start working in the size for the ear flap. Here from this marker here to this one I mark 24 double crochet for the front and then from this marker to the back I'm going to mark 8 double crochet and 8 to the other side and those eight are the one for the ear flaps okay to make the ear flap I already made one here now I'm gonna make the other one and remember we're gonna go all the way around this um, hat with this yarn and this one together okay you're gonna do a slip knot You're going to pass it through here, and you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now you're going to do um, seven more double crochet, one, and, and total eight with that one, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work around. Now we're going to do some decreases. We're going to go do the half double crochet there, but leaving two, um, these two uh, in the crochet hook. Now we're going to do another one and pass it through those three like that. Now we're going to do one. and two double crochet. Now we're going to do another decrease. One and two. And pass it through those three. Like that. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And turn your work around and do the same thing. One, and two, pass it through those three, and now the same one, two, and pass it through those three like that. Okay, now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, do another double crochet here. and another double crochet here. If you want you can leave this right there but I made mine a little bit longer. That way when I go through with the boa yarn it will be nice and long in the side of the baby. Okay I'm gonna continue. I go I gave this one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a row like that. You can give yours how many row you like. And depend on the side of the hat too. One, two, and three. And I'm going to continue until I have my eight row of these in the side. I mentioned before that I'm going to use the yarn that I use for the hat and this one to put it all the way around the hat. I tried to do it, but it was too thick. I'm going to use, yes, this boa or eyelashes uh, yarn for around the hat. I'm going to use a smaller hook too, because this is a thinner uh, material. I'm going to use 2.75 millimeters hook. Um, I'm going to do a slip stitch, something else. This is the outside of the hat and like that is the inside. Well, I'm going to work from the inside out. That way, all these little um, fluffs will stay more in the outside than in the inside. You're going to do a slip stitch. And pass it right through here, where we finish. At the same time, I'm going to be losing my tails here. You're going to chain one. Now you're going to do a single crochet all the way around. This hat, I'm designing the hat at the same time and recording to teach you how to make. If I make a mistake, sorry, I, will, I try to do my best to get a, um, get a good tutorial for you. Okay, we're going to continue doing this single crochet all the way around the hat and losing the tails at the same time. You have to do it all the way around the flaps too. Like that you're going to have the border at the hat with all these all the way around. It starts to look really nice. Okay? I will be back when I finish doing this all the way around the hat. That way we can continue with the finishing touches. 
it I finished with a slip stitch, chain one, and now I'm going to cut the yarn, going to pass it through, and lose that tail, okay? And now you're going to lose all the tail, the tail from the inside here, and whatever other tail you have to lose. I lose, lost the other ones with when I was doing this. I just need to lose that one and that one at the end. Like that, you will have the hat. It looks really nice. You can leave it like this if you want. You know, just a little hat like that. It looks really nice. But if not, now we're going to continue with the ears, the nose, and the eyes. I made an ear. I hope I can make <laughs> the other one. <laughs> um, is uh, to put it like that, in the side like that, in an angle, and it will look really nice that year. I'm still laughing because I made one and I don't know if I can make the next one. Okay, let's try now in camera. I did that one off camera, let's try to make that one on camera. You see how nice it will look, the ear for the koala? To make the ears, we're gonna use the two yarns together. We're gonna leave this one, the main color, longer, that way we can sew the ear. And now we're gonna do a slip knot with the two of them. And I'm using the crochet hook of 4 millimeters. Do a slip knot. Make sure you grab the two yarn. It's really difficult to work with the two yarn together because all these loose pieces are these. We're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like that. Now we're gonna chain two more. One and two. We're gonna do a half double crochet in the first chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Now we have to have the crochet to half double crochet there. One and two. Now we have to make a more in total 10 half double crochet. I'm gonna cut one and two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Light up. Now we're going to chain one, turn around our work, and we're going to do two slip stitch. One and two. Now we're going to do two single crochet. One and two. Now we're going to do two half double crochet. One and two. Now we're going to do two single scro two double crochet. One and two. Now we're going to do two triple crochet. And two, like that. We're going to chain two, one, and two. Turn our work around, and we're going to make six um, half double crochet. One, two, three. Four. 
four, five, and six. Now we're going to do two uh, single crochet, one and two and two slip stitch. One and two. Chain one. Work through you. You work around. You're gonna do. Uh, you can see because I wrote it down here when I did the other ear. We're going to do two slip stitch, one and two. We're going to do the same thing that we did before, two single crochet and six half double crochet. One. Two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Now we're gonna chain two, one, and two, turn a work around, and we're gonna do one. Uh, single crochet in the next eight uh, space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one slip stitch like that like that we're going to finish our second ear you see both of the ears are exactly the same now we're going to chain one cut the yarn and loose those tails like that you're going to make your two ears like that They will be sewn like this in the hat. And then you will do this because all these are all over the place. Take them out as much, much, much as you want and can. Lose that tail, lose this one here and this one for sewing. Now we're going to work in the nose and the eyes. We're almost there. Now we're going to make the nose. We're going to do a magic circle. And chain one. I'm using my uh, four millimeter crochet hook. You can use a smaller crochet hook. Now you're going to do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to pull that tail tight. And now you're going to use a marker. You can use a piece of yarn of the one that you're working or a safety pin or a marker. We're going to do here and instead to have, a do, to make, sorry, a slip stitch, we're going to make a single crochet. We're going to work all the way around, like that. Put the marker and make another single crochet in that same chain space. And now we're going to make two single crochet in every single chain space. All the way around.
you're going to move your marker, do a single crochet, place the marker, do another single crochet in the same chain space, now one single crochet in the next chain space, and two together in the next chain space. Like that. We're going to do all these um, next row. One in here and two together. One in here and two together. I hope you guys under understood my explanation for the ears. I had trouble myself making them. One in here, two in this one, and one here. We're going to remove the marker, do a slip stitch, and we're going to lose this tail and cut the yarn long enough for sewing the nose all the way around. Now let's make the eyes. Now we're going to make these eyes. You have to make two of them. You're going to do a magic circle. And chain one. Now you're going to do six single crochet. Two, three, four, five, and six, pull the tail tight, make a slip stitch at the top of the chain space, and like that you have your eye. You can make it bigger if you like, but I like it like this. You will lose that tail and cut this one long enough for sewing the eye around the hat. Now let's put the hat together. Something that I want to mention is this is the right side when we crochet the nose and this is the wrong side. Well, we're going to put the wrong side up for the nose. We are gonna we did a slip stitch there. We're going to pass the, the yarn to the other side like that to make even the circle and like that we're going to sew the nose. Like that. That is the wrong side up and that's the right side inside. It will be like that. Here I mark where I'm going to put the ears. I mark it between the one, two, and the third row from the bottom up. I put it with the pen there and the beginning of the third row from the top. I did it an angle here to the back, like, like that. And the same with the other side. I mark where I'm going to put the nose, and by putting the nose with the inside out, it look more like the nose of the koala. Okay, and now I'm debating if I'm gonna put my eyes like this or like this. But first, I'm gonna show you how to put the ears before I, um, I go to the eyes. To sew the ears, you're gonna get your tapestry needle and you're gonna go to the uh, let me see, oh, I saw this one in the beginning of the third. You know, it's the sec the first, the second, and that's the beginning of the third row. Here, I'm gonna grab the ear to the hat, and we're gonna sew like that. You're gonna sew the ear. Remember, with an angle. You see, it have an angle to it. That way, it's nice and round to the front. You're going to sew it however you find easiest for you to do it, but just give the angle to the hat, to the ear. You're going to sew it around, and I'll meet you here when I'm finished sewing mine and you finish sewing yours, to go and sew the nose and the eyes. Okay? So I'll meet you here at the end. I hope you, saw, you can see what I'm doing because all this uh, fluff, you hardly can see anything. Let me see. Like that. Like that, you're going to 
continue sewing the two ears when you finish the ears you will have them like that it's a little bit to the back but remember when you put the hat on the ears are a little round like that to the front now I mark where I want to put the nose with two say it's um, pins I mark from the one the first second and third row we're gonna put the nose just like that you're gonna with the tapestry needle you're gonna sew all the way around grabbing the bottom and the top like that and then for the eyes you're gonna do the same same if you're gonna put the, these eyes you're gonna mark remember the koalas have the eyes not too high up from the nose I'm gonna put around there one row up one eye on the side if I can find the other one that'll be good <laughs> okay. I have the other one yet. oh here it is I'm a little tired already like that you're gonna put them the eyes the same way that you're gonna show the nose I don't decide yet for mine if I'm gonna put this eye or these ones like that the ever look nice I think I'm gonna do these ones well I will do my eyes and my nose off camera I hope you understood what I is the explanation uh, how to sew them and I will be right back with my end with my final product remember let me show you for those when they are beginners you're gonna grab the yarn and the tapestry needle and sew from the bottom like that don't pull too tight because you don't want the hat to be wrinkled when you pull too tight the the jar like that. and make sure that it's nice and round because with make you see when you do it the inside out it's nice and round like that and it will look really nice like 3D well I'm going to continue doing this off camera and I will show you the end result well here is the end product I love the way uh, the hat look it's I, I just static I'm quite pleased with the end result let me see if I can put it up a little bit like that mm -hmm. don't want to stay up well, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Ciao.